Hi all folks, so we're going to root our phone. Um, this is based on the latest EC05 uh, you know, stock ROM. So what you're going to do is download my one click root.zip, unzip it, put it into a folder called uh, under the root directory. So you'll have, you know, move it to one, the one click root directory to there. So now you can open up um, actually before that before that what you want to do let's go to the phone I just installed the new latest software update uh, we're gonna put it so this is the latest as of May 1st uh, what we're gonna do is hit the menu button settings applications development USB debugging oh, it says take it off try again and uh, hit OK and then connect it back and make sure you have the drivers installed if you don't I have video on that too so once that's done put it aside it's connected and open up a command prompt in your computer um, let me adjust the camera here and what you'll do Open up command prompt by typing cmd right there, enter, and uh, let me zoom in to this command prompt. And you'll probably want to do it in Windows, I find it simpler. Um, we'll do cd slash one click root, and then we're just going to do run, and that's it. Actually this should work on OS X and everything else, run, and then hit another key to continue. And this will basically root your phone. Um, if you get errors, you'll probably uh, don't have the right drivers installed. So now it's rooting. Let it do its thing, and it's going to install the latest, um, what is it, Clock Mod 3.0. And another thing is if you rooted a long time ago, and you probably have like Clock Mod uh, Recovery 2.5, the way you can check it is turn off your phone. Hold down the volume down uh, and also the camera button. While holding those two buttons down, you hit the power button and you will get into the clock mod recovery and it will tell you if you have 2.5 or 3.0. Uh, 2.5 is in green menus. If you have orange menus, you're fine. Then you don't have to do this. You've already done this. And you can just in, uh, go, you know, install the Syndicate ROM. But if you haven't, that's why we're going through this. So now my phone's rebooted as you can see here and uh, basically it's been rooted and it's re you know 